the Joe Rogan experience. Do you have any regrets that you didn't start fighting like when you were young? I wish I well, I, look, it's funny because like I started playing football before all that concussion shit came out. Mm -hmm. But all you heard about was like boxers with, you know, head injuries or head trauma, CTE yeah. and shit before it was called CTE. Um, so I always won. I always favored individual sports over team sports. I fucking hated team sports. I only started playing football because my older brother played football, and then I realized the girls like football players. <laughs> and then I realized, oh, I'm kind of good at football, so fuck. All right. But I asked my mom, I was like, can I box? And she was like, no, because you're going to fucking get brain damage, and you're going to ruin your face, and I paid money for your braces and your teeth, <laughs> now you're going to fuck your face up. And then I was like, all right. But then, meanwhile, you know, she let me go run full speed, into another human being who's also running full speed, you know, with like a piece of plastic on my head. Like when I first I probably started playing, I was like uh, seven years old, and then it's like one size fits all. My shoulder pads fucking came out to here, and my helmet was fucking wobbling around. So it like, you know, definitely wasn't like the 1950s, but it ain't like it is now. Right. You know, so the only times I've ever been like knocked unconscious is playing football which is a pretty scary fucking uh, experience because you lose time. The first time I did it, we were doing a drill. I was like 12 years old. Uh, two guys 10 yards apart. There's a cone uh, off to the side in the middle. And you literally run full speed and smash each other. That's the drill? That's the drill. It's like an angle tackling drill. One guy's on offense, the running back. Everybody else is on defense. And so they say, go. You got sprint five yards, boom, at an angle. And... You know, car collision. But did I hit this kid and I fucking got up, I was woozy, got to the back of the line and just boom. You know, it's kinda like little giants, you wake up, everybody's around you, fucking it's like, Oh, it's okay, dude, he does that to everybody. I was like, Fuck y'all let me go with him, dude. Y'all fucking y'all don't like me, man. And then uh when I was in college, um, I ran I was running down on uh kickoff. Are you familiar with football? Yeah. So I ran down on uh on a kickoff. And at the time, you can't even do this anymore, but they'd put, like, the offense and defensive linemen in a wedge, and the dude with the ball would just, they would just, like, fucking clear house. So I was just like, fuck it, and just closed my eyes and dove in there. Oh. And, like, my neck, and it was, like, on the far sideline. My next cognitive memory is, like, I'm walking around on our sideline. I'm like, dude, how the fuck did I get here? I was just <sighs> over there. Now I'm here. Wow. And then, like, five minutes later, I was like, all right, kick off team, go again. I was like, dude, I don't. I don't know if I should do that. But, you know, at the time, it's like, dude, you can't be a pussy, dude. Just fucking go. Mm. And now they're like, oh, dude. Now know, they stop people from doing shit like yeah, that, Yeah, right? they're like, uh. If you get KO'd now in a football game, do they just stop If you, get you If out? they even suspect you of having a concussion, they take your helmet. Uh -huh. And you're done. Back in, you know, And there's, you know, when I played, like, shit like that was encouraged. Wow. Oh, he doesn't want to play anymore? Like, bitch. You know, really? Pussy. He's like, oh, actually, you know, that guy's actually, you know, a little bit smarter than the rest of us. Isn't and, it crazy that it's so recent that they've figured all this out? Yeah. And, well, I think uh, I think the big turning point, there was a guy named uh, Junior Seau, who was mm -hmm. a linebacker for uh, the Chargers. Committed suicide. Committed suicide. Yeah. And they, you know, they don't know if you have CTE till after you die and they study your brain. And they're like, his brain's not right, yeah. you know? And, uh. So then that, after that, I think, is when they started, you know, changing the rules and stuff. Because, you know, the football, as it's played today, doesn't really look like how it was. Like, the big hits was encouraged. Blind sides were encouraged. It's like, oh, fuck, dude, you saw what I just did to that guy? If I can, you know, laugh about it. All right, now you get kicked out of the game, and you have to sit out the following game as well. Really? So they're trying to figure out a way to make the craziest, most non-safe <laughs> sport ever safe. But I was like, that, you know, so like a lot of things, a lot of people were like ignorant back then, but now you know, like the risks that you're taking. So yeah, sign the waiver and go. Sign the waiver and also, you know, it's a opportunity for greatness. Right? Yeah, that's the thing. It's like you will take that risk, but if you become a superstar. The rewards are pretty substantial. I mean, if you're a superstar in the NFL and you can you can bang out five, six years, like you make a Get substantial that money. amount of money. Like if I knew then what I knew now, would I still play football? Absolutely. There's nothing you could have done to stop me from from playing outside of an injury. 
was like, yeah, dude, I fucking, I loved football. I like everything that came with football. I love the lifestyle of football. And, you know, at the time, I thought I was going to make a lot of money playing football. So, you know, yeah, I'll take the risk. And, you know, same thing with fighting. Like, oh, you worried about your brain? I mean, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. You seem fine now. Yeah. Well, I, you, know, I, you know, I think mushrooms help. NAD yeah. helps. Yeah. Uh, I guess that's like preventative stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so, 